<sighs> Hi, I have something to confess. I don't know how you guys are gonna take this, but I have messed up really badly. I just wanna apologize. I just wanna say I am truly sorry for the things I have recently done. And, um, <laughs> Bro, that's how people who don't trace their drawings expect us to apologize. Hey there, how's it going? My name is Mainza. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about something that is very interesting. Something that, you know, it's a topic that a lot of people have a lot of takes on. And I just want to give my side of the story and my experiences. And uh, obviously, if you've read the title, is tracing bad? Is tracing bad? Is it bad? Is it illegal? Is it, should it be a crime? You know, if you asked me that question like five years ago when I was an amateur artist, I would probably be like, yeah, it probably is. It, it might be illegal, you know, you know, that kind of thing. But the more I grow as an artist, the more I realize and say it tracing might be the best thing that could ever happen to artists. I said it. I said it. I said it. Am I taking it back? No, no, no. Just hear me out. Before you give your input, just hear me out. Okay, so let's just say you're drawing something and you want the, the, the artwork to look not exactly as the reference, but like you want it at least to resemble the reference, right? That's why you are trying to replicate that in an artwork. So ultimately, if you don't use, if you don't trace, you're gonna end up messing it up especially for beginner artists and amateur artists. I am a professional artist and I will look at you dead in the eye and say, I do trace my drawings. You wanna know how I do it? Simple. I just get my laptop, I flip, I open my laptop and then I kind of like flip my laptop so that it's laying on like the screen and then I get the paper and then I put on top of the screen, open that image in the computer and then I turn the, the brightness all the way and then I make sure I go in the dark room too. Yeah, for big paintings I use a projector, I trace everything, I confess. You, you you got me <laughs> you got me you got me it's not cheating i've seen a lot of people in the art community say oh it's cheating it's cheating you want to know who who says that it's people who don't want to accept the fact that it's a, it's it's uh it's something that an artist needs in order to kind of like it's more like a starting point especially if you're a beginner or, or whatever you are getting started with the drawing and I think tracing, I think those people who say tracing is bad, I think it all started with people who were teaching other people how to draw and they didn't want them to cheat. They didn't want them to go and just replicate a sketch uh, on, on, on like a, a thing. They, they didn't want them to, 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 to do that. That's why a lot of people might consider it as cheating. It's because they've it's because when they were being when some people were being taught how to draw in the past they used to be told don't use it don't don't trace because they are being taught how to draw and they you know what i'm saying so yeah that that's my take on it what what are your takes on it comment down below what you think tracing is is it good is it bad is it truly bad is it is it a crime should it be a crime should it be a crime i don't know comment down below what your thoughts are like this video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video share your comments down below come on run it up let's go okay so now i'm gonna go trace some more artworks 